close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel the breathing and notice how, how it feels. If it's comfortable, keep up that rhythm. If it's not comfortable, you can change. Make it longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, fast, slow. Try to see what feels best for the body right now, because the mind needs a good place to stay. And you've got to provide it right here, because otherwise it goes providing things outside. And that's not really solid. It's not really safe. Your safest place to put the mind is right here in the present moment. It's the most solid here, and also you can see things a lot more clearly this way. And when things come at you from outside, you've got a good place to stay, so you don't have to go running out and trying to catch them and swallow them down. This is one of our problems, is we don't have a sense of well-being here in the present moment, so we try to find well-being by listening to other people's words or look, looking at their actions or things outside, trying to gain money, trying to gain status, trying to gain pleasures of different kinds. But those things don't last. And often the, the actions we do in order to gain those things end up being unskillful, so then you're stuck with the bad karma. So learn how to gain a sense of well-being right here inside, so that when things outside go up and down, the mind doesn't have to go up and down with them. Every week, you know, we, or every day, and the monks give a chant, blessing for the lay people who give gifts here at the monastery. May you be happy. May you be wealthy. May you be, may you have status. May you be praised. And that's the kind of stuff that everybody wants. But the Buddha's blessing is higher. He says there's a higher blessing, which is that when things go up and down the world, when there's status or loss of status, when there's wealth, loss of wealth, when there's praise, or when there's criticism, when there's pleasure, or when there's pain, may the mind not be affected by these things. May it not be disturbed by these things. That's the highest blessing, because that's a blessing that can apply all the time. And we'd like to have wealth, but it's not going to be there all the time. The same with status. It's not really ours. Other people give it to us, other people can take it away. The same with praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. These things people can give it to us at any time. And so you have to be prepared so you don't get caught by these things, you don't get pulled into them. Because these ways of the world turn around like the world, but they're, they've got teeth. They're like gears in a machine. If you're not careful, you get caught in the gears of the machine, it's going to squash you. So you have to be careful to find a sense of well-being here, right here, so that when the ways of the world change, you don't have to go up and down with them. Make your mind like a post at the edge of the sea. The sea rises, the post doesn't rise. When the sea falls away, the post doesn't fall away. This doesn't mean you don't know anything or don't care. It's just that you have a more solid place inside. And from that place you can use these things. When wealth comes, you learn how to use it well. When there's loss of wealth, you learn how to take a lesson from that as well. You learn how to live frugally, you also learn who your friends are. Same with status and loss of status. When you gain status, try to use it for the good of the world. That way it becomes your good too. That's something you can take with you even when the status goes. When people praise you, you can ask yourself, okay, what do they want out of me? You have to be very careful about praise. But if you see that they praise you about something you've done well, okay, try to do it more. I mean, that's the whole purpose of praise, is they want to encourage you. And then there's, when there's criticism, you have to ask yourself, are they criticizing me something about something that's true, or is it something that they're just making up? If it's true, well, you've learned an important lesson. If they're making it up, you've learned a lot, an important lesson about that person as well. And you've also realized that your state of mind doesn't have to depend on their words. The same with pleasure and pain. These things come and go. If your mind is solid in the face of these things, the, r the sea rises, but the post doesn't rise. The sea falls away, the post doesn't fall away. The, s the post is safe. Now, if the post is not well planted in the, on the beach there, it gets rolled in and out by the waves and ends up getting splintered all over the place. In the meantime, it breaks somebody's hand, breaks somebody's leg or arm. So try to make your mind like that post there at the edge of the sea. Things can rise and fall, but you don't have to rise and fall with them because you've got a good sense of well-being here inside that you know how to maintain, regardless of what happens outside. That's a really high blessing. <laughs>